Ladies and gentlemen, the next speaker is our host, the rector of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, Professor Jacob Plandreau. Proud, he is a graduate of the School of Medical Sciences based at KNUST. Professor Plandreau holds a PhD from the prestigious Victorian University of Manchester in the UK. He's a fellow of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, a fellow of the West African College of Physicians, and also a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians in London. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our host, Professor Jacob Plangeru. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My job is to welcome you as the host. Honorable Minister of Health, Kwekwa Jumamenu, the Director of Fogarty International Center of the NIH, Professor Roger Glass, Professor Chiri Agbenyega, representing the Vice Chancellor of KNUST, Professor Peter Donko, Chairman of Afri Health, members of Afri Health Council, participants, inv distinguished invited guests. I'm delighted to extend to all of you a warm welcome to the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons this morning. The college is happy to serve as your host for the first Afri Health Symposium on Leadership and Capacity Building for Health Professionals, Education and Research in Africa. This college was inaugurated in December 2003 by the then President of the Republic of Ghana in line with government's efforts to stem the massive brain drain of doctors from Ghana to developing countries of the world, which had reached disturbing proportions at that time. I must say that the college has succeeded largely in delivering on its mandate. With the establishment of the college, uh, we have seen close to 90% retention in the country of graduating doctors over the last decade. In the last 13 years since its inception, the college from small beginnings has produced 805 specialists at membership level and 57 consultant eligible senior specialists in, at the fellowship level across the various disciplines in medicine. These graduates of the college can be found in health facilities all over the country providing invaluable surgical specialist care to the people of Ghana. I recognize that the vision of AfriHealth, which seeks to improve healthcare in Africa through research, education, and capacity building, coincides with the mandate of the college. The mandate of the college is to promote specialist education, promote continuous professional development, promote research in medicine, surgery, and related disciplines, and to contribute to formulation of policies on sound health and public health generally. I'm told that AfriHealth came into being because of the many innovations arising from the implementation of the medical and nursing education partnership initiatives, MEPI and NEPI, and your quest to spread these innovative benefits beyond the MEPI and NEPI implementing institutions to other parts of Africa. It is extremely encouraging to look at the agenda of this symposium and to see the wealth of African research experience that is being showcased and the broad range of topics in both nursing and medicine that it covers. However, to impact nation building and development and to improve the health of African countries, this wealth of talent, knowledge, and leadership needs to continue to be harnessed in an organized manner through well-resourced opportunities for structured postgraduate training. An important question we should be asking in this meeting, therefore, is how do we implement postgraduate health training in such a manner that it ensures the continuous production of faculty and fellows with the requisite capacity for leadership and the promotion of health research? I'm sure this meeting will suggest answers to this question. I also hope that the crucial issue of funding of postgraduate health manpower training 
will not be overlooked. The structure of training in the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons is a model that has worked well and which has greatly increased the specialist capacity of the nation by ensuring that postgraduate students have clearly spelled out training goals with definite periods of time within which to achieve this. I recommend this as a model to other African countries who are happy to work with AfriHealth in extending postgraduate health manpower training to their countries. The continent of Africa faces many health and development challenges, and new challenges continue to emerge, as was clearly shown in the recent Ebola fever outbreak. Whilst partners and donors have made invaluable contributions to Africa's development, it is clear that Africans' problems can best be solved by Africans ourselves. It is therefore important that we continue to identify and develop talent and leadership through effective medical and nursing training at both the graduate and postgraduate levels so that we will have the capacity to bring development to our continent through improved health. In line with this ideal, the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons looks forward to working with AfriHealth to achieve our common agenda to produce postgraduate health professionals to provide the leadership for health professions, education, and research in Africa. In closing, the program for this symposium promises to be an exciting one, and I wish you fruitful deliberations over the next couple of days. Once again, welcome to the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. Thank you very much. Thank you.